This is a true story. I was paid shortly after arriving to the hospital to evaluate a patient who had been admitted overnight for an initial encounter of reported heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, and the diagnosis was not unwarranted. He had arrived to Kipnik with an elevated BMP and he was being actively diuresed. A D-dimer in the emergency department was negative and an EKG showed only mild sinus tachycardia. And he was a guy who didn't doctor much and so nothing else was known about him. On physical exam, not only did he have distended internal jugular veins up to nearly his earlobe, but it actually increased in distension on inhalation. So this was Kussmaul's sign. By the end of this video, you should be able to define Kussmaul sign, recite several diseases that could lead to a positive Kussmaul sign, and explain its pathophysiology. Before we explain what leads to Kussmaul sign, let's review basic intrathoracic pressure. So when you breathe in, does intrathoracic pressure go down or up? Correct, it goes down. If the pressure is lower in the chest, would that make it harder or easier for blood to return from the veins to the heart? Well, if the veins are moving against less pressure, it would be easier for them to dump blood into the heart. This is why, during normal inspiration, venous return increases, and why, if you were a red blood cell sitting in the internal jugular vein, it would be easier for you to dump into the SVC and subsequently into the right atrium during this time. Therefore, JVD should go down on inspiration, not up. And so what would cause JVD to go up on inspiration? Well, anything that causes impaired filling of the right ventricle. And so the question for our patient became, why did he have impaired RV filling? Here on this image, we can see what Kussmaul saw, a very prominent jugular vein, as indicated by this arrow. Note that this is, just for good form, the external jugular vein and not the internal. Because the external jugular vein takes a more tortuous path to the superior vena cava, it's always best for him to measure JVD from the internal rather than the external jugular vein when you're able to. The jugular venous pressure is estimated by how many centimeters above the sternal angle we can see pulsations in the jugular vein. Kussmaul sign can occur in any condition that causes impaired RV filling, including constrictive pericarditis and restrictive cardiomyopathies, because the ability of the right heart myocardium to expand in response to incoming blood is also limited. In addition, right atrial or ventricular tumors can present with a positive Kussmaul sign because there's a decreased ability of the right side of the heart to fill, causing incoming blood to back up. So what was going on with our patient? Well, the answer was noted, oddly enough, by his LFTs, which showed an elevated protein gap. This guy had cardiac amyloidosis, causing a restrictive cardiomyopathy. All right, to review, a four-year-old boy with a history of intellectual disability and seizures is brought to the physician with a three-month history of worsening shortness of breath. During the physical exam, physician notices numerous acne-like papules on the patient's face. Echocardiography shows significant LV outflow obstruction. What is the most likely diagnosis for this patient's heart condition? So let's break this down one at a time. So what am I getting at with intellectual disability, seizures, and papules on the patient's face? Right, that would be tuberous sclerosis. The associated papules on the face would be angiofibromas, seen here. And which of these heart findings on the left is tuberous sclerosis associated with? Well, that would be cardiac rhabdomyomas, a condition that can decrease left ventricular filling resulting in Kussmaul sign. All right, let's recap. So Kussmaul sign is an increase in JVD on inhalation. Remember that during normal inspiration, JVD should go down because we've decreased intrathoracic pressure. Kussmaul sign can be caused by conditions such as restrictive cardiomyopathies, uh, massive PE, ventricular tumors, anything that impairs RV filling. In normal respiration, the intrathoracic pressure decreases, causing an increased blood flow to the heart. In Kussmaul sign, there's a condition such as the ones listed here that reverses this. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. And as always, comments are more than welcome. Study hard and stay healthy, my friends.